Mm. So, this is my backyard. This is where I work. Um, I make these. You know, it's not the best ever, but I enjoy it. You know, and we get by most months. I like to use nature for my inspiration. That's probably why I like to work outside. Uh, you know, and with the intricate nature of the work that I do, I need great lighting. All my best work happens under the light. So, you know, I need good lighting. And so decided to confront Matthew McConaughey. So at this particular time, I had enough. And I figured Matthew was a friend of mine, so I just go over here and talk to him. So I went over to his house, just right here. I knocked on his door just like this, and I said, hey, Matthew, do you mind if you could just cut your tree down just a little? He looked at me, he said, sorry, Floyd, this tree contains the essence of my grandfather. And then he looked at me like, like he was gonna cry. Like, the tree's significance was confirmed to us by next door neighbor Matthew McConaughey, a part-time doula. That's right, I'm a part-time doula. I know what you're thinking, what's a, a doula? Well, I support and help women deliver babies. A little unusual, I know, but I'm just answering nature's call. Matthew, you said the tree was important to you. I said to Floyd, well, this tree was the last memory of my grandfather. And this man, he wasn't any grandparent. You know, he would pick me up from school once every fortnight, you understand? Sometimes I come outside and I talk to the tree as though, uh, as though he was still here. Floyd said that you said that if he touched a single leaf on the tree, you would destroy him. That's right. Yes, sir, that is right.